figuring it out. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Good. My hair's looking a bit messy, but who cares at this point? Looks lovely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. No one's going outside. It's all fine. I know. Let me just move this down a little bit. Okay, yeah, me too. I'm going to move this up. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Good. It's How nice to see you. I know. You too. I haven't seen you since LA. I know. So it feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? It feels like a completely different life. Yeah. It really was. How was the rest of your trip? It was good. I mean, it was, it was holiday. We went to Belize, which was How incredible. Was that? Did you get really good weather? Yeah, lovely weather. Well, it's sort of changeable, but the, the good weather we did get was amazing. It's an incredible place. Yeah. Um, and I'm really grateful that we managed to get to go, but you know, before this sort of happened, feel really lucky. We landed yeah. back um, and we like turned our phones when we got back to Heathrow and got the text saying that the US had banned all flights from Europe. So it's sort of like skin of the teeth. You, yeah, yeah. Because I like I came out back earlier than you yeah. and I was like a week away from kind of potentially being in some issues. You look like Minnie Mouse with those hats. <laughs> this one? Oh, right, I'm behind you. <laughs> I mean, this isn't, like, to be honest, this isn't my preferable, preferable decorating taste. I rent a place where I'm not allowed to hang anything up. Oh. And so we just, like, hung up these hats so something would be on the wall without, like, damaging, because it's, like, painted wallpaper. It's kind of annoying. You're not allowed to hang pictures up there? Nope. Oh, strange. I know. Oh. Um, next time, uh, next place, we will make sure that we can. Because we have a lot of stuff to hang up, so that was great. Yeah. Um, so, usually, uh, I, we just talk about, just have a little catch up and then, like, just dive into quest questions. Okay, great. Um, see your question that you um cornwall first of all <laughs> did you not go to cornwall i had i had one day in cornwall over both series over two years one day and it oh. and it rained so much oh, i remember yeah. this like seal kind of popping its head out of the atlantic and then going no and disappearing again because it was absolutely hammering it down yeah. so yeah we met at the we met at the read through they um mammoth the production company make it very <laughs> kindly took us uh, for sort of breakfast beforehand, like all the sort of new cast. So Tom and Harry um, and Elise yeah, I don't as well. I don't remember that. <laughs> no, <laughs> just very special. But we, um, we went for that because it's quite, um, it's, a, it's sort of slightly intimidating, you know, it's a big show. Everyone was really friendly. But, but you came in in the third season? In the third series, yeah. yeah. And I only knew Gabriella from before. That's the kind of only person that I knew. How did you know Gabriella? Uh, and Pip, but Pip wasn't there. We did a movie, um, I did Gabriella's first ever job, which was uh, St. Trinian's 2, The Legend of Fritton's uh, Gold. I know, like, never won an Oscar, it's weird, but it was. <laughs> were you one of those like boys that they were like, when they're competing with the boys in like sport or something? Like? Yeah, um, I wish I was far too old for that. I was, I was, um, David Tennant played the bad guy in it, and I was his sort of idiot sidekick. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it again now. I kind of like it. I mean, it's. I mean, it's... no. I mean, I I always liked it. I thought it was. I thought it was quite entertaining. Um, how how is how's quarantine been for you? So... Um, it's been okay. It's a strange time, isn't it? It's really unusual. Um, I kind of. I thought that it might be because it's not that different, really, to how our lives are quite a lot of the time, and that you're you know you can often be at home sort of waiting for something else to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and I sort of thought oh, it would just be a bit different in that I normally go out of the house to write just because there's always something to do in, in the house. But um, I sort of thought, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And actually, the whole atmosphere around it is is so sort of unusual. The whole setup is so strange. And mm -hmm. initially, it was kind of worrying, you know, about sort of family and loved ones and making sure that everyone was safe. And everyone was taking it seriously. Yeah. I sort of had a bit of trouble at the beginning kind of convincing um, certain family members who should remain unnamed that how serious it was and they needed to kind of stop going out stop going for lunches and stuff have, um, they, have they have they yeah they have them? now and actually yeah. it, it, it they they responded pretty quickly compared to yeah. some people that are still going out it was yeah, yeah. It was okay so there was that initially and then i don't know i was thinking about that this morning actually kind of 
creatively, because this thing that's happened is so big, um, it almost feels a bit strange to write about anything else. I don't know that the BBC wrote, um, did a, a writer's competition, which I sort of entered. So I sort of wrote this short film in kind of in just one day and submitted that straight away because it was all kind of encompassing and going round. But yeah, it's a strange time just sort of creatively. I've done a couple of um, sort of, uh, you know, auditions at home, self tapes that we do and sent them off, um, which is great because it can feel like, you know, is the industry still going on? Are they still making TV? And it's lovely mm -hmm. to have it. But I don't know, it feels a bit strange to be thinking about making a television show. It's amazing how quickly everything's changed, I think. Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously I'm very grateful for TV and film right now, but at the same time, it also kind of, like doesn't matter as much like the like because like I you know I I know that you would agree that like we get a lot of anxiety about our work and like you know our work is very unstable you know we were very lucky to be on a long-running show but then that ended and and you're like well, what now mm. um and apart from obviously the financial worries that can come with being out of work it's quite refreshing to for me to kind of realize that it doesn't matter as much as I thought it did if, it, it's, if it's not there. Yeah. Do you I know, know what I mean? mean? And there's like yeah. a certain freedom in that. Like, I don't have anxiety about not working. I mean, obviously, again, there's financial worries, but I don't have anxiety about not working. I've got anxiety about like health and wellness, which is, I think what, you know, we all struggle with at this point. I think so. And I think that's probably, uh, maybe an odd pun here but I think that's quite healthy as well I think it's quite a good thing I feel the same way it's strange that you say that because I I know what you mean it's almost sort of it's just a little like it's a little nice <laughs> yeah not to worry about um you like constantly be thinking about oh you know wh where's this job coming from or is it the right one or do I like it do you know what I mean it's just like come constantly like in our head and yeah. there's, there's not a possibility anymore and and it means that you can, it kind of means that we can define ourselves as more than what we do. And I'm sure people have, you know, the same feeling about whatever they do. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like, what are you, um, what are you grateful for during this time? Like um, something that you've noticed that normally you didn't. Um, I'm grateful for very sort of like the small things really. Um, yeah. I'm grateful for just kind of, just being able to sort of like go abroad. I love traveling and just being able to sort of go to, you know, a European city, even like a short break like that. Mm -hmm. I really, I'm really grateful for that. But it's most of the small things. It's just the idea of being able to go and meet a, pub, like go and meet a mate in the pub or something around it. I, I like going to the football and I've realized that all I enjoy the match is the rituals around it, seeing your mates beforehand and, you know, having your tea together and that sort of stuff where you go to the game that I'm missing. I'm, I was out for, um, a run uh, around here. My, I mean, you should, the Thames is so busy. You should see it. Someone really? On, yeah. Someone on Twitter said it was like a park run down there, and it. I mean, it really is. It's just. It's like they're organising a, a running event every day. But, it's quite um, scary, like with these, like the the good weather that, like the places you want to go are actually quite rammed. Yeah, they are rammed. It's really busy. But I saw a I saw a mate um, who was also running. So we had this kind of like weird brief conversation on either side of a road, you know, kind of shouting to each other. Yeah. But just having that in real life face-to-face -face contact was something that you go, oh, I really miss that, you know, really yeah. miss that. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, I'm, I was sort of lucky that, you know, that Jen and I are here, so I've got someone to kind of talk to face-to-face -to -face every day. And, yeah, no, you know. I agreed. I think I am grateful. I'm very grateful to be coupled, uh, coupled up with someone. Yeah. <laughs> I've been watching a bit of Love Island, have I? Um, <laughs> really great to be coupled up with someone at this time. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, lovely. Although sometimes they just need to go for a walk. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And sometimes, yeah, I think I think Jen thinks that as well. Like, oh, maybe it's time she's going to do some exercise now. Yeah, maybe you should go, like, because Sam, a lot yeah. of the time Sam is like, well, we should go together. I was like, maybe today we go separately. Yeah. Nice little, yeah, alone time. Yeah, it's nice. It is, yeah, it's, it's important, I think. It's tricky. Um, I noticed something um, today, which I realised I was grateful for, which has like directly to do with quarantine, is that obviously all your neighbours at home. Um, and normally, you know, I'm quite sensitive to like noise from outside and stuff like, and you know, every neighbour at some point will play a lot of music and stuff. And I am so grateful that my neighbours play really good music. That's good. Because yeah. it's like, you can't control the noise around you, like around your your flat. But like, 
my neighbors like a next door play a lot of like 90s kind of r&b and hip-hop and the one below which has the garden that's always have it blasted in the garden right now plays a lot of like reggae and african beats and i'm like yeah i can get down with that so, yeah like, that's I, good <laughs> Are you, is everyone coming out and clapping on thursdays yeah yeah i mean yesterday i was eating dinner and then i just and it's just outside like the window where i would go and clap and then suddenly everyone went out and i realized that we were doing it and it was actually more people than it was the first week yeah. I like, didn't actually realize it was happening in every week. I just thought it was a one-time thing. I think it is happening every week, yeah. Yeah, no, now I know that it is. Is I saw, okay, so now some more questions are coming in. I saw uh, a question. Did you see the bachelor question? No. <laughs> I saw a bachelor question. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on to the bachelor question. Really? Someone just said, do you watch The Bachelor in the UK? And I in was the like, UK? Yeah, but I was like, how do you know? How do you know? Yeah, but like the UK Bachelor, there's no such thing really, is it? No, but I guess maybe like you can stream or something, I don't know. It's, no, it's on in the UK, I think. I feel like I have so much to say about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm sure most people are, um, we watched, so Christian and I watched, we were both in LA at the same time. And so we were watching the, the American Bachelor in real time. Um, Christian had never seen it before. And I, I dragged him into it. I literally made him like, switched the basketball game he was watching. It was, yeah, there was, uh, the Lakers were on, weren't they? We had to watch your, um, The Bachelor. I and then when I Jen can't... came out, I got her into it as well. I bet, oh, I want to talk to her about it. You're literally my only friend in this country who knows what I'm going through when it comes to The Bachelor. Nobody else watches it. And it's like my favorite reality show. I, um, um, I, I see what they're up to on their Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> like I about mean, once a week, I'll have a look and see like what they're doing, how they're getting on. Oh yeah, so I mean, I listen to podcasts about stuff like that, so I always get an update. I'm pathetic, but it's like my, I kind of like, it's like my thing. It's like my thing and no one else like around me is, yeah. is doing the same thing. So whenever I'm alone, it's the thing that I can, that no one else wants to share with me anyway. So, yeah. um, so I saw, uh, um, a, a question about the toes and and like how you did that and if it made you gag. Um, yeah, it was it wasn't great. People sort of um, I think did this you is do so it more disgusting. Do I what? Did you do it more than once? Yeah, we did it more than once because it got this such like a huge reaction. Like one of the one of the tabloids like put that photo on the front cover of me with like the feet in my mouth, just like <gasps> all like greasy stuff, and it, it was awful. And so. Yeah, I, I remember, actually, we were talking about the Series 3 read-through, I remember the Series 4 read-through. How did you do the it? Scripts. Hey? Oh, I remember the read-through, yeah. Yeah, and then just, like, seeing it was there again, just thinking, oh, I've got to do this, do this again, yeah. Um, it was, yeah, it was but, tough. So, that, yeah, they are, they are real toes, belonging to a, to a <laughs> real actor. As yeah. his toes. Um, and they, yeah, it wasn't great. I mean, the, the makeup, the hair and makeup team were very... Uh, Kind she just made sure they were all nice and clean. Very clean, yeah. Sort of uh, coconutty, I remember. Oh, it's <laughs> awful, awful. And I think, yeah, for Series 4, I, just, I sort of didn't want to do it. I mean, obviously, I was always going to do it, but I remember that day and just thinking, I don't, I, I don't want to do this. There's so much sort of, you know, kind of tough emotional stuff and or things where you have to sort of, like, there was a stunt on a horse and all this sort of stuff, but that was that doing it again in series four was by far like the sort of hardest thing. And you don't, you, you don't just have to do it once, as you know, you have to do it like over and over again. It's bizarre different. because, oh yeah, no, of course. Yeah. It's bizarre because like you provided a lot of comic relief, you know, on set, just as you and the character, like I thought just your demeanor as the character was quite funny, but then, you know, you, you also were the most vile character uh, yeah, you know, and, and it, it 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 had this like incredibly sinister undertone. Um, yeah, it was interesting because well, you, it's it's you, great fun to play. Isn't it? I mean, you must have experienced that a bit as well. In that, you know, we used to sort of joke um, on set about Elizabeth going over to the dark side. Oh yeah, how, you know, you sort of Elizabeth starts off as this, you know, kind of very fresh. Um, positive happy kind young thing and then you know when her Hopeful. and sort of george get together yeah it's a really interesting journey i think it's 
it's more fun, isn't it, to do that, to have that kind of light and shade and to go to those places, I do think. You, do you want to answer how much? Weight, how much weight did you gain and how, how are you still there is it just me talking i'm here oh, you're but, back but the but the questions have kind of frozen hmm. Hmm. strange oh there we go we're back in again um yes yeah. yeah, so i put on about sort of two and a half three stone um jesus how'd you do it B uh, badly no uh, badly and then very well uh, the for series three it was just it was like a, it was a riot just curries and beer and ice cream and just whatever i wanted and just no just like i didn't walk up an escalator for you know however many months like six months and if i could if i could take the lift i'd always take the lift um wow. so that was yeah for series three. and then between series three and series four i sort of determined to lose the weight um and uh, Jen, my wife, was filming in uh, in Corfu. Someone said earlier on, "Have you been to Greece?" And yeah, love it. How love many it, but, yeah. how many pounds is in a stone? People are asking because seven, uh, right? No, it's twelve, twelve or fourteen pounds in a stone. Four, fourteen pounds in a stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven is half a stone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I went up there, and I was like, sort of determined to lose the weight, and then I got like a little sort of a little injury. Which meant I couldn't lose as much as I wanted to because I just couldn't do as much exercise as I wanted to, which I was really grateful for because then for series four, um, they very generously got me a personal trainer and a nutritionist to sort of try and put the weight on healthily. Yeah. Which meant, which was really bizarre because I was trying to get to the play this sort of, you know, kind of repulsive, enormous, or like morbidly obese character who's like able to kind of crush his wife. It's so horrific. But yeah. like living the life of, I guess, like a professional rugby player. And that I would eat, I would just get up and eat and cook and eat and cook and eat and cook. And then I'd go to the gym and lift like huge weights, sort of deadlifts and bench presses and squats to try and put on as much muscle as possible. So it's really strange, like having that kind of lifestyle. I'm in, I'm in awe of them, honestly. Those boxers and the rugby players, American football players. I mean, obviously they're doing a lot of running and cardio as well. I wouldn't do any of that. Well, you know how I feel about American football. I think it's a ridiculous sport and I think it should be illegal. I'm I sorry. Okay. Well, I'm going to just plead the fifth on that one. You know, I like it. <laughs> uh, but someone was asking, like, how did it, like, how, how did it make you feel to put on all that weight? It didn't make, it didn't make me feel great. Series four, I was, I was healthier. But series three, I remember I went to the, um, I went to the match and we got there late. So we had to get, we were like parked in a car park really high up. And after the game, I had to sort of walk up five flights of stairs and mm. I was finished at the top of it. And I'd never mm -hmm. sort of been that unhealthy before. Hmm. It does. It does affect you. I think. I think being that overweight and that unhealthy, and not necessarily unhealthy, but just being that overweight, it didn't make me feel great. And also, if I'm completely honest, from an egotistical point of view, I didn't like it very much. Remember the scarves I used to wear whenever we went out and like. Hats. Yeah, like it might. Like I mean, we've discussed it before. It, like it took its toll on you, not literally, but like psychologically as well. And it would, wouldn't it? I think and so. people have been asking then, and then how easy has it been to lose weight? Because. A lot of comments are like, "Oh my God, he's so handsome, he's so attractive." I would not have, I would not have thought that. I haven't seen him since. Oh, you're all such lovely, lovely people. Keep them coming, keep them coming. No, um, <laughs> I, it was because I was so because I put on so much weight. The yeah. initial weight loss was was pretty was okay, really. It was um, a I was determined to do it, so I was just working out twice a day and sort of stopped eating and stuff. And then, mm. yeah, and B, I yeah, just sort of. Uh, I wanted to get rid of it, so it was okay. It's, it's the last little bit that's a problem, but getting rid of most of it was was okay. Um, was I really? Yeah, uh, that was alright. It was putting it on really series four. Putting it back on for series four was the hardest part, rather than losing it. Really, that's mm. interesting. You yeah. always think that, but I guess I read a lot about actors who like just like at, at a certain point, it's it's really hard to to carry on with it. Yeah, I think so. Can you please say, ah, oh, Miss Chenoweth or Chenoweth? Um, in Aussie's voice. Uh, yeah, I haven't done this for ages. Ah, Miss Chanel, pleasure <laughs> to see you again. I don't know, is that right? Is that right? God, it's been ages. Put no, in my spot. idea was more like, ah, oh, Miss Chanel. Was it up in there? It might have been. You like, do it. Oh. You do it. What was yeah, that? Um... That, that? That was my impression of Aussie. That's What's your good. impression of Elizabeth? <laughs> oh, George. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, what was... We had that so, fun scene in the street. That was great when I came out of um, Rwanda. Oh, yeah, I caught, and I caught you, kind of. That's right, yeah, and those cobbles. Do you remember? And those heels. Oh, 
love that that's a uh, froom um froom in the Cotswold or is yeah. it Somerset potentially I think um, it might be Somerset Somerset um yeah. It's if you're ever in that part of the world, um, it is one of the most idyllic towns. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, that was a fun scene. Someone asked earlier, um, what's is there a scene in Pole Dark that would like inc encapsulate your character? Um, well, there were two sides of them, I suppose. So there was the there was the dinner scene where we were all there and Ozzy let slip that um, that Poldark is going to uh, stand for election I think and George doesn't know and it's sort of a big big shock so there's that sort of kind of slimy um, wanting to sort of impress and be in society and have the knowledge type thing and sort of slightly ridiculous so that side of things so I, I really enjoyed that. so I think that scene encapsulates that when he sort of you know shouts out Poldark of Nampara like that. I think that's... Oh, yeah. yeah. People, people love that. that but so I, I think what was so interesting about him is that, as you said earlier on, there was the other side of him, which was so dark and horrible. And so then scenes where he was one-on-one -on -one with... Um, Elise. With Morwenna, yeah, with Elise. Yeah. I think those scenes well. There was a scene... I think my favourite scene that we did was the, our last scene of series three, ep nine, where um, Morwenna finally consults... Uh, uh, confronts Ozzy, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he, she says, you know, I know you've been sleeping with my sister and, you know, she threatens to kill um, John Conan, their son. And that was just, that was, that was so great to film. I mean, you know, Rebecca Liz, Front is a genius. Rebecca Front is a genius as well. Yeah, she was great. I mean, she was yeah. so, so mean. The little boy who played John Conan, bless him, was absolutely terrified of her. <laughs> She's the nicest, kindest lady. Oh, she's and so like, sweet. He and yeah, when friend. she was in that get up, you know, she, she was all in black. Do you remember? And that sort of the wig and everything. She was so scary. Very, he was like, terrified she was quite, of her. She's quite like Victorian. Yeah. She was scary. Even though that doesn't actually make sense. But you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah so it was like, yeah. there's a, yeah, like an austereness about her. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, was your, a... what was your favorite scene to film? Because you were there for like so long. I mean, I mean, not, I mean, I, Hi, John Conan's I, mom. I guess I have a, a favorite scene, but like a scene that like, what was that? It wasn't, that wasn't the word, by the way. It wasn't a capital A, so it was something else. It was like personifies or something. Yeah. I don't know, like every time I stared out a window, probably ballroom scene it was, but like, or not ballroom scenes, but like party scenes. There was a party at Trenworth. I think that you may have, passed away by then i'm not sh i'm not sure but i did a scene with aiden outside um and then um max what what was max's character max bennett name? yeah oh what was his character called yeah help us out guys who was yeah what, who, what was his name again? What was his name? He was so good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was great, was but I can't so remember. I can't remember his... Monk. Monk, Monk, Adderley. Thank you. Monk Thank Adderley. you. Monk Thank Adderley. you. Monk Thank Adderley. You. Thank Adderley. You. Sorry, yeah. guys. It, uh, that's embarrassing for us. But it yeah, so I, I, I did a scene uh, in there with Jack, like, and everything was going well for Elizabeth and George. And that was kind of like what you were saying that we, we passed. I feel like I'm shouting. Um, we were, um, yeah, I do this a lot when I'm, <laughs> I'm like my mum. I'm like, mum, you don't have to speak this loud. And then I do it myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, like everything was going well. Um, and we were sort of like a big team. And then, then I had a scene with Aiden outside where Elizabeth and Ross kind of, just kind of like felt natural with each other. And there was no drama and it was just kind of a bit of banter. Mm. And and then Monk came into the scene, and then there was lots of drama. Um, but I think that really like personifies Elizabeth um, that time because she really came into her own, and you saw her in her element, which was like the host and the belle of the ball, and the like, you know, charming everyone and sort of playing the the high society member that she's always kind of that she's been bred to be. So mm. probably something like that. Yeah. 
Uh, was that one of those like was it a long scene they did like sort of these yeah it, i mean it, it, it like was a it was a few scenes kind of wrapped together hmm. um but yeah like yeah and max um max came into it and they had like a little standoff and i was kind of trying to temper it and it was a uh, yeah it was cool when were we all last together like all of us, last thing I remember was probably like we did that dinner when I yeah. left. I think that was. No, yeah. we've been together since. I mean, we went to the Lake District, a bunch of us. We did go to the Lake District. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But, but it wasn't what, all of us. It wasn't all of us. I think that that dinner where we were at was. Now, Kyle wasn't there, was he? Because he was on stage, I think. But I think that everybody, I feel like everybody else was, was there that night. That it feels like actually, yeah, even Gabriella, and I say even because she doesn't live in London. Mm. Um, yeah, she was there that night. Yeah, I think that was the last time. I mean, you sort of see each other, don't we? I mean, obviously, we've, we've we spent some time in the States together recently, but, and you, so you do see individual people, but they're so, I mean, it's such a big cast that it's difficult yeah. to get everyone sort of together, really. And there are like kind of generations. Um, I feel like because you were the same age as the first, like you were like a similar age as, the first generation that you kind of fell into both the first and the second and then you were obviously working a lot with Morwenna and then Morwenna had you know Harry and and Tom and and those guys which were kind of like the second generation not that we're not all friends but there was like you know, yeah I think like, so yeah they I, were like groups yeah I think you sort of yeah you tend to I mean I sort of you know hang about with um with Jack and Luke I suppose because we're of a similar age and yeah exactly. a, a similar level of grumpiness I suppose. <laughs> yeah. grumpy, grumpy old men. Yeah. Um. Someone said about um Eleanor's film. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think we're gonna watch it tonight. Eleanor and Jack are in that film. On Wait. Isn't it? I think it's Netflix. tomorrow. I thought it was tonight. Oh, if it is tonight, then definitely. I'm looking forward to it. I love those kind of light-hearted rom-coms. Love wedding repeat. Is that it? Yeah. Look, I'm so jealous to hear that they spent like all summer in Rome last year doing it as well. I remember Jack telling us, I'm just thinking, oh, you're just, it's not fair. I know. And Rome. We actually, we had planned to go out there um, and just, like, Ruby and Kyle and I were like, fuck it, should we just go, should we just go to Rome and, like, hang with them? We were like, yeah, we were going to do it. And then Kyle kind of, uh, I guess, he, he, he never responded to us for ages. So, so we were like, oh, are we going or not? And then it was just too late. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, and then he's like, he's off winning Olivier's, isn't he? So he's too busy to go to Rome, Scott. Yeah. yeah. Although you know, now he's back. He's yeah. Um, he is. Uh, I think I think he's going to be on the chat next week. Oh, is he? Oh, that's yeah. Good. That's good. And, and speaking of um, to whoever's listening, um, I did have yeah, I did have an an, an issue with um, with Jack's chat because he doesn't have Instagram, so. Um, we tried to do it a different way and it just didn't work out. And so I am sorry um, about that. And that was kind of frustrating. I will figure something out. But, um, you know, this is supposed to be easy and fun and I don't really want it to kind of be too complicated. So I'll, I'll figure it out. And I will I'll, I also wasn't able to upload Ruby's video because I didn't realize how to do it. Now I know. So it's all sort of there you together. go. Eleanor's is on there though. Eleanor's is on your page, I think. Eleanor's is the one that I figured out. Like, yeah, she. I figured out how to do, how to like, do it correctly and upload mm. it and stuff. So I will know how to do that with yours as well. Um, how bad was the prop food and drinks? It wasn't bad at all. It was amazing. It was amazing. They always had. This, they always had this like, so much like sugar, so many yeah. like macaroons and candied almonds and all this like, period food. Um, and yeah, none of it was like, they would tell, tell us, wouldn't they, if, if anything was, um, sprayed or like, cause sometimes it's sprayed and you, sometimes it's just, you can't eat it, eat it. Yeah. But most stuff you could. Yeah. And we, I, a canary wine was strange. So, um, uh, do you remember, uh, Chris Butch props guy, he would, um, oh, he'd always yeah. sort of do the canary wine, which is just, it just was like Ribena or kind of a, that sort of stuff. But the cake yeah. was real. And that Paul Dark of Nampara scene, those roast potatoes are real. And I piled into them. They were amazing roast potatoes. potatoes. And you know what, though? They were just, apparently, they were just like Aunt Bessie's. Were they? 
Yeah. I thought they were homemade. They're amazing. I ate so many that day. I had to. It was for work. <laughs> same. Well, it, same. I, I did too. Um, and I actually thoroughly always enjoyed the eating scenes because the, there was some stuff like weird pickled stuff sometimes that like you would try and be like, oh. Right. Well, was that to keep it like fresh and keep it looking okay? Is that, is that why they pickled it? Yeah, they pickled everything because then it would just last forever. Yeah. Could I do a chat with Gabriel? Um, yeah, I will try. Um, who is your favorite cast member off camera, makeups, props, etc.? Mm. Hmm. Um, who did I? I? I mean, it was just like a love. It was just a lovely place to be, honestly. Like, yeah, it was just. I sort of, you know, got on with everyone. Our directors were great and the crew were lovely and, you know, hair and makeup were all right and the costume department were great fun. And I think as we spent so much time in Bristol, you know, you go for nights out together and you're all yeah. there together. It was, it was a lovely, lovely job. I don't know if everyone says that, oh, we had a great time making this movie. And then you hear things afterwards about how people were and you think that doesn't sound like you had a great time. But I think, part of that genuine, I just, I enjoyed it so much. Same, yeah. I really did. I thought the costume were costume had some great characters like Charlie. Do you remember Charlie? She was the sweetest, and it was it, it's so important to have people in good spirits because, like, as soon as you're off set, and in between every take, they're like you know fixing everything, always in your face, always everywhere, and it can be quite a lot. I mean, at least for me, it is um, when you're trying to focus, and but they're trying to do their job as well, and. Yeah you know when but when they have such you know so when yeah I they think have it, such great yeah it can be that it can be really strange in that you can um there's some photos on on my instagram about because my, my hair isn't i mean it's not dead straight but it's not naturally curly i was constantly being sort of tonged and then being like re-greased up having like more grease applied to me yeah like, you were actually quite high maintenance I um, was. as a character weren't you so you i remember we had this discussion didn't we because you were like the closest of the boys that understood kind of what the girls went through because like the boys didn't quite go through as much yeah. like primping as, as 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 we did not at all i remember so i would be in before i mean not as early as the girls obviously but mm -hmm. i would be in before almost all of the boys and i remember i'd be sort of sat there i'd have to have my like cur my hair curled and i wasn't i wasn't allowed to wash it like pippa our makeup uh, hair and makeup designer she wanted me to like leave it as greasy as possible which is just horrible so not only was i like morbidly obese and had this greasy hair sort of tied up in a bun on top of my head but we I, it would take ages to get to go through really and then i remember luke would come in and just like trim his stubble himself and just sort of like look in the mirror and do that a bit and luke, then he'd be out luke definitely had it the e like one of the easiest because he just like had his hair and his like beard and he yeah. didn't even have any fake sideburns, did he? I don't think he did. It was just all just all him. I remember. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. It might have been you. It might have been Elise. But I was walking um, back to set from lunch, and and one of your doors was open, and I don't know if it was Charlie or Tess, but like you, one of you was getting your corset retied, and I think she literally had like her foot on like the like the the small of your back, putting his corset in, and it was then that I realised, oh my god. These girls are going through this twice a day, every day to get into these courses. I mean, I don't know how you ate anything, let alone sort of sat down and moved around. It was yeah, I mean, someone just asked, um, oh, but to finish off like with the, with the people on set, yeah, Tess as well, Charlie and Tess. I mean, there's so many people, but um, just saying, yeah, having like a good, good vibe and a good attitude as those people is quite vital. Mm. Um, and we were very lucky um, those people were just a joy to be around and actually comforting to have around because you were like even you were like practically naked with them every day when they dressed yeah. you and yeah um but yeah um the course that someone asked um earlier i'm shouting again aren't i I'm i don't know am i shouting i'm not sure no, you're i not never know how good these microphones are I, I know i think that's why yeah do i sound really loud no i can just hear you nicely but now i'm like yeah okay. you're gonna do some, um, some screen acting yeah <laughs> yes Screen acting, thanks. Um, I think I'm. I think I'm so. I'm. I, I'm such a like. No, I'm not a nerd, really. Just because, you know, what it doesn't matter. It's just the, the speaker is is on the shelf, and so I think that people can't hear. But I'm. Oh. I'm sure the technology is advanced. <laughs> um, I can hear you. The the course that um, it, someone was asking like, can you eat in it? Like 
yes, you can, but it's hard. So like for a while, actually Gabriella and I had this implemented that we started asking for soup for lunch um, so that we could just eat something liquid that went straight down because it's quite hard to digest. So we Oof. would usually take them off um, for lunch, but then you put them back on and you have all this food in your stomach. And so I constantly had indigestion from it because I would also just test the limits all the time. And I was like, lunch is my favorite thing. And I, I, I'm not gonna compromise on that when I've been working like for 10 hours in the morning and or whatever, eight hours in the morning and then, and yeah. then not eat. But it's really hard, it's really hard. Just had no idea, yeah. So I mean, yeah. I mean, my costumes were, were tight. They, they made them sort of tight on purpose. Um, mm remember going to fittings with Howard and yeah, they're being sort of sort of super tight because they wanted me to look look like I was sort of like bursting out of all these clothes all the time. So mine were tight. So if I, if I, I mean, it's so unedifying. And I, I remember sort of Charlie would have to sort of take me, take my shoes off for me because if I were to try and bend down and touch my feet, like buttons would have, it would have been like a nail bomb, just like buttons and like fabric flying everywhere because it was, everything was so tight, but nothing like those corsets that you guys had on, no. That must have given you quite like a, a specific physicality, like. Of yeah, I think it really did. Being... Yeah, it sort of. Yeah, it did a funny thing. I guess it's slightly like a yeah. corset, and it sort of straightened, sort of straightened you up, and yeah, he sort of let. I think he sort of he was quite proud of his stomach. So he sort of led with his stomach and everything. Someone said, you know, how did you do that sort of signature Aussie walk? And I, I did. Don't think I, I didn't consciously have a signature walk. I just think that the cane and having these sort of little heels on and the and the yeah. tightest of the costume sort of informed it that's sort of how you move really and yeah the costume it's really it's really important the costume i think and how you feel and how you how you move in it yeah what was it like working with elise yeah wonderful it was just great she was we you know with, with good mates you would um if you can believe it off screen mm -hmm. and just having that you know most of our stuff was together um all my stuff was was with elise and it's really important to have that kind of trusting relationship. And it was a joy, honestly, it was sort of, I just really enjoyed sparring with her in the horrible scenes and just knowing that we kind of sort of had each other's backs. It was a wonderful working relationship and just being able to, yeah. cause you know, we, I was like, I had to be really vile to her, which is, yeah. you know, which is can and be like, sort of quite difficult. Really, that's really, is that actually Miss, is that actually Rebecca Front? <laughs> it <might be. laughs> <laughs> I learned, I mean, everything. I think it just changed um, who I am as, a, as an actor and as a, as a person, Rebecca, I think. Everything's changed. I, since, I, am, since I am definitely better for knowing, for having laid eyes on Rebecca Front. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, if this is really you, then um, I'm assuming that you're going to throw your hat in the bid for, oh, um, yeah. for coming on, coming on a, a, a chat with me. I think she must um, be. Yeah. Be, oh, not, not sure, sure you've changed, you've changed <laughs> enough. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. There'll be a text message later on. Um, yeah, oh, that's nice to see you. Call in and say hi. Hey. R Rebecca, do you want to call in and say hi? I think that's possible. I think she can do that. Yeah. That'd be yeah. nice. Well, have a try, and if have a if try, we'll see. Then, yeah. Um. What were you saying? Who is the offer on set? I think. Oh, we love you. We love you, Rebecca. Um, I, uh, Aiden laughed the most in my scenes. I think because we didn't have really anything to do with each other. And of course, you know, he's quite, a, he's, <laughs> a lot of his scenes are quite sort of serious and quite intense. And then I turned up being all, yep. you know, sort of ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, you, you. Oh, man, you're. Uh, I, I know you keep. I know, I know you're, you're talking, but. You're frozen. Am I? Am I still here? I don't know if I'm still here. Oh, man. Oh. 
Yeah, no, you are. You are. It's coming back. Oh, no, Chris, we're losing you. Hang on. I'm mean, right by my Wi-Fi, so I don't know. Um... Hello? He's just quiet. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, she watching. Say hi. Hi, Jen. Oh, well, um, I guess while he figures it out, I can take some. Um... Oh, hi. Chris, just call back um, and I'll uh, reapply in the meantime. In the meantime, and yes, I am trying to get as many people as I can on the chat. But again, it depends on where they are, if they have signal and all of that, and if they have Instagram. So there we go. Uh, 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 I am, he called back, so hopefully we're connecting with him again. Waiting for Christian Brassington. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Am I here? There you are. What happened? I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. You just froze in the middle of it. You were saying something about Aiden laughing. That's the last, uh, that's the last. Oh, you're there. Okay, my wife's just shouting at me. Stop interrupting my special video. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> Hi, Jen, she says. She's gone back to the other room. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, about Aidan laughing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, and then, so he would, yeah, he would laugh when I'd say something stupid. Oh, hi, Jen says. Um, and then, <laughs> just shouting. Um, and the other thing was, I was doing a sermon in the church. And uh -huh. you were all sort of sat there. And I think everyone, I mean, basically everyone was in there that day. And it was just me talking in the pulpit all day. <gasps> and oh I, my God, it was so funny. And I, I remember I looked down at one point and something had happened. Like one of you had gone and everybody went. And everyone was just looking down at the floor, trying not to, trying not to look at me and laugh because they knew I was doing a scene. And I remember you had this blue hat on. And I just remember seeing the rim of this hat just like bouncing up and down <laughs> as you were giggling and just trying to hold it together for sort of my close up. Oh, nice. I'm trying to remember. I do remember it. It made me so happy. Like I, I'm, I'm pretty bad. So like my favorite thing is to laugh when I'm not supposed to, as I'm sure you know, um, it's not everyone's favorite thing. So some people could, would get quite annoyed, especially yeah. the director. Um, they, they would have it in them to like, let me, do it for like a take and then if it carried on they were like all right I cut it out like we've, we've got to we've got to get this going but it, I, I just I don't know what it was but there was some kind of there was something in your inflection that like it's the way you said something that I could not stop laughing about so every time you got to that bit everyone was just under their breath like <laughs> we great. didn't look at you because we didn't want to throw you off. Yeah, which is really like, which is kind of you. I, I, I get it, but I just remember sort of looking out at this sort of where well, it's supposed to be a sea of faces, it's just the top of everybody's heads as they were looking down. I think that kind uh, of thing. I think it was one of those days where we'd all been there all day, and it was you know it's after lunch, and it was sort of getting late, and everyone had been sat there all day, and people just. When I mean, the thing is, is that once you go as well, it's so difficult. The church scenes were actually even f more fun. They were they were more fun than the um, than some of the uh, the sort of ballroom scenes because it, every time we were at the church, like the weather was really nice and everyone was there, and it was like one of the only times where um, both like the upper class and the working class would, you know, characters would all yeah. be together because sometimes we wouldn't see each other otherwise, except for like the crossover and Empara. But like, you know, I like us characters, uh, we didn't really um, socialize or mingle much with, you know, Harry's or Tom's and, no. um, and so it was really nice because everyone would go to church. And so that we could, kind of hang yeah, out. I, I just remember it was like always these beautiful churches in the countryside. Mm, it was what nice. was my what was my favorite romantic scene? 
I remember like Francis being really romantic towards the end and it was really sweet. I can't remember exactly. It was really sweet when he like kissed us goodbye before he died, <laughs> even though I was asleep. Yeah. It was really romantic. Oh, sad. Um, and also when, 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 uh, when uh, Jack and I ate strawberries in bed, that was really fun. That was romantic, wasn't it? I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a strange thing because you, I mean, you're all, we filmed the majority of it obviously in Bristol, I did. And it's a strange thing because you're all at work sort of at the same time and in the same place. But there's loads of stuff you don't see, so much stuff, because you're either doing a film in a, a scene in a different location. And so there's loads of stuff that you see on telly for the first time and you're like, oh, I didn't know that was going on over there. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. so much, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, um, so, um, go on, what were you going to say? Go Someone on. was going to say, "What? Um, how do you sort of approach like the um, like the abusive scenes, right? Um, with Morbena?" And I think yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say when you were talking about Elise, like in order to have the relationship that you did, like the foundation of the real relationship needs to be really strong, and you guys are really good friends and like trust each other a lot. And mm. I think, but go on. Yeah, so I think I think that's it. I think it's about about trust because it's pretty, you know, it's kind of pretty grim. Yeah, and those sort of scenes, like those abuse scenes, the way that you have to sort of work it out is, it's like, it's sort of like a horrific dance, really, mm -hmm. in that you sort of have to, sort of, almost like block through like where your bodies are actually going to be during these awful sort of moments, um, uh, in order that you know that you both feel sort of safe and secure. And I know that now they have um, intimacy directors on set, which is a brilliant thing to have. Yeah, it's just, it's changing a bit. Yeah, which is a great thing to have. So I think yeah. that that's the first thing. You've just got to make sure that you're both kind of comfortable in what you're doing. And then, yeah, it's just having that, I think it's having that trust in each other as well and just knowing that you're you're going to be sort of saying and doing some pretty horrific things. Yeah. And you've got, you know, the, the trust in each other to be able to sort of do it because, yeah, it's, you've got to, you know, you've got to kind of let rip. And that, that reads into someone who um, asked, you know, what was like the cringiest line that you had to say? Mm. And I think that that like pole dark of Nampara line I mean, could have been like a could have been a car crash because it's like when you have to like you know when you have to like go for something like that when you have to like shout or lose your temper which you do so rarely on on screen like to properly shout at somebody and I think that that's it's just that thing you have to trust the actors around you you just sort of have to go for it I guess yeah that's, yeah yeah it, it is quite tricky I didn't obviously have to do much of that um, but like I think that everything sort of dark and sinister is usually better made if you have a strong foundation, a, a good, like, positive relationship. Mm. Um, which character so. fits better your personality? What, from the show? Who, what, who am I most like from the show? Yeah. I don't know. Who's the biggest idiot in the show? I mean, that person. <laughs> Who's this clown? Um, who am I most like? I don't know. I mean, like, I want to yeah. say Demelza, but I don't think it's true. Yeah, I want to say Demelza too. <laughs> there we go. We yeah. all want to be a Demelza. That's who we want to be, but I'm not sure that we I am. We all want to be, like, scrappy and and uh, kind and good and passionate. Yeah. So I think, I guess, that's who we would like to be. I, it's it's, just not, it's not necessarily who I would like to play, but it's who I would like to be most likely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do I like feet? No, I don't. I don't like them. It's not my thing. What? Feet. Some people just ask, do I like feet? I don't like them. No. I think they're feet. funny things. Oh, right. Yeah. I, guess I think they're I odd things on the end of your legs and they should be inside the whole time. I actually, yeah. I actually hate feet. I can't even look at my husband's feet. I mean, I'm always telling... <laughs> I'm, I'm always telling him to put socks on. I'm like, can you put socks on? I don't understand. It's not even warm. I am looking at my own feet. I don't mind my own feet. Your feet are awful. <laughs> you wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever seen them. I don't think I've ever seen them. No. I don't think you've ever seen them, even though I stayed where you were staying in LA. But I, it was cold, and so we were always wearing warm things. It was cold. It's not all glamorous, is it? It's not, yeah, it wasn't, it was, it was really cold when we were there. And rained. Compared to LA. And then it got, it got, it got warmer, it got better. Yeah, it did. Um, you never closed the trails. Yeah. 
because I yeah because like I guess every everyone's just going hiking yeah it was like we yeah, are, yeah we are both in London in yeah, fact but... we're both in West London kind of right <laughs> no gang signs no gang signs um oh. did, what was my favorite location in Cornwall well I'm, I was there for one day that was it um but, but we stayed um in a place called Carbis Bay and that was oh beautiful. yeah but I filmed for a long time um in Port Isaac down there and we had a riot it was just yeah. brilliant oh Loved yeah it. the fisherman's friend people yeah, have been fisherman. asking you about the second series Oh yeah, I was film? I was avoiding that question. I haven't oh. heard anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen the script or anything. I know that from the I don't even know if it's been written. I haven't heard anything, but okay. um, I think it's taking place in Australia. Uh, so oh. I would love to be in it, but whether but I'm not sure that um, I don't know if my character would be in it without giving away any spoilers. But yeah, it's um, I don't know. That was that was great fun though. Love mm -hmm. Cornwall. We love Cornwall. Yeah. So I knew it, Titi. All right, um, we're going to get cut off soon because this is only uh, uh, an hour. Okay. Um, so for any final thoughts, anything, any questions you saw or anything that you would like to share? Um, what are you going to do this weekend? Uh, this weekend, I'm going to do what I've been doing a lot in quarantine, which is eat and watch telly. Yeah, we're going to, we're sort of having a proper Easter Sunday lunch, you know, with lamb and everything, just to try and oh, nice. keep it sort of normal. Yeah, so do that before you speak to family a really nice thing that's come out of this is that we sort of have this kind of family facetime every evening just because people are you know sort of by themselves in isolation so that's really that's really yeah. lovely to have that what are you doing yeah i mean yeah yes we are doing uh uh, uh meet up with friends uh tonight just a little sort of double date house party uh yeah just with, yeah and then um kind of it i bought a chocolate but my husband's jewish he doesn't care about easter i mean not not that i care that much but i was like we should get chocolate because that is you know just like presents of presents for christmas yeah. and, and chocolate for easter and he was like why i'm like because it's easter he's like i don't care and i was like okay well i'm getting this chocolate bunny good so i'm pleased you got yourself a chocolate that's bunny. All really and maybe somehow enjoy the weather without getting in a crowd yeah, like it's tough though. It's just because we went out last Sunday and it was just, it was, I mean, it's busy along the Thames during the week when you go for a run, but we went for a walk last Sunday and whew, it was busy. So I think yeah. we're going to have to sort of stay in. Yeah, we a might bit. try and cycle somewhere. That might be fun. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right, well, thank you so much for coming on. It's so nice to see you. Thanks for, um, thanks for the people for the questions. I hope, I'm sorry if we missed anything. That'll yeah, be... but. Yeah, thank you everyone that tuned that tuned in and asking questions and um, thanks good recommendations Chris. for a series. Um, a Poldark is good. You should watch that. Um, and I mean Tiger King, obviously. Tiger King, Succession. Succession's great. Oh. Bojack, Bojack Horseman. Yes, Bojack Horseman is excellent. Ozark, Ozark, and I love Ozark. I yeah. haven't seen Ozark. Watch it from the beginning. It's wonderful. Okay. All yeah. right. Um, yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Happy you too. Easter. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, love, love. Uh, right. Give my love to Jen. I will. And to Sam. Love. Right. Bye. Thanks, Haven. Bye. Bye. Bye.